we're back with Ron Reagan and Terry Jeffrey. Let's also now take a look at a monologue about the Secretary of Defense from our own Keith Overman. It's getting a lot of attention on the Internet. Dissent and disagreement with government is the life's blood of human freedom, and not merely because it is the first roadblock against the kind of tyranny the men Mr. Rumsfeld likes to think of as his troops still fight this very evening in Iraq. It is also essential because just every once in a while it is right and the power to which it speaks is wrong. This is a democracy, still, sometimes just barely, and as such all voices count, not just his. Had he or his president perhaps proven any of their prior claims of omniscience about Osama bin Laden's plans five years ago, about Saddam Hussein's weapons four years ago, about Hurricane Katrina's impact one year ago. We all might be able to swallow hard and accept their omniscience as a bearable, even useful recipe of fact plus ego. But to date, this government has proved little besides its own arrogance and its own hubris. Mr. Rumsfeld is also personally confused, morally or intellectually, about his own standing in this matter. From Iraq to Katrina to flu vaccine shortages to the entire fog of fear which continues to envelop our nation, he, Mr. Bush, Mr. Cheney and their cronies have, inadvertently or intentionally, profited and benefited, both personally and politically. And yet he can stand up in public and question the morality and the intellect of those of us who dare ask just for the receipt for the emperor's new clothes. In what country was Mr. Rumsfeld raised? As a child of whose heroism did he read? On what side of the battle for freedom did he dream one day to fight? With what country has he confused the United States of America? And about Mr. Rumsfeld's other main assertion that this country faces a new type of fascism as he was correct to remind us how a government that knew everything could get everything wrong. So too was he right when he said that, though probably not in the way he thought he meant it. This country faces a new type of fascism indeed. And that was Keith Overman the other night. Terry, your response? Look, the establishment press in this country, and by that I mean NBC, in which this network is a part, CBS, ABC, The New York Times, The Washington Post, they have more power than Donald Rumsfeld. Donald Rumsfeld may end up being Secretary of Defense for eight years. He has to answer the President of the United States, who can fire him at any moment. He has to answer the United States Congress. He can, by the way, Nora, if they wanted to, can impeach him. Democrats are talking about calling for him to resign. They could impeach him if they had him for an impeachable offense. Donald Rumsfeld will be gone from the scene a couple of years from now. Keith Rumsfeld, this Keith Olbermann seems to have eternal life on MSNBC. The fact of the matter is, the liberal press is arrogant. They try to drive opinion in this country, and Donald Rumsfeld is absolutely right. They play they play up negative news in Iraq, and they play down positive news because they think it advances their agenda, and that's why there is a tremendously powerful now alternative conservative media in this country, that including is. Fox News, including Rush Limbaugh, including Sean Hannity, including talk radio all around this country because they're sick and tired of the liberal press. Well, that I would is remind an excellent Terry point. That However, is it appropriate for the Secretary of Defense, who is the civilian leader of a nonpartisan military who controls billions of dollars, the lives of men and women, to be engaged in a political argument? It's not a political argument. He's defending his troops, their morale, and their cause. And specifically, I'll, I Let will say Let me get Ron again. here. I apologize. Yeah, sure. Ron, go ahead. Well, uh, you know, Terry is talking about the mainstream media. Most of the mainstream media champions war along with Donald Rumsfeld and, and George W. Bush, I would remind Terry, too, that Fox's ratings right now are plummeting because a lot of people in America are sick of the sort of jingoism they get when they tune into Fox. So, uh, no, should the Secretary Rumsfeld be engaging in a political argument? No, he should have better things to do, but apparently he doesn't. Keith Oberman is exactly right. Why should we trust these people when they have been wrong down the line on just about everything you can think of? And now they're saying, trust us, and if you don't, you're an appeaser of terrorists? I'm sorry, that's just garbage. Well, let, let me ask you something. When we talk about specific policies dealing with terrorism, for example, the policy of whether the National Security Agency ought to intercept communications of Al Qaeda in and out of the United States, if you say the United States should not do that, is go. that appeasing terrorism or not? I gotta go. That's why we live in a democracy. This is the greatest mm -hmm. country on earth. This is going to be decided for in, by voters in November. Thank you, Ron Reagan and right, Terry no, Jeffrey. Chris Matthews press. returns Tuesday at five and seven Eastern for more Hardball.